is Michelle Young Cho and I'm with IDTV and we have a Asian American rapper, only one here today. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm doing really great. So um, what brings you out to a melting pot of, uh, sorry, what brings you out to a melting pot of thoughts? <laughs> well, my wife actually, Larissa Lamb, you know, she's been performing on her own, but we kind of joined teams uh, once we got married. But uh, she contributed to the book, Miso for Life. So we're going to perform tonight. Uh, we brought our band, and um, I'm probably going to sneak up on stage and do a couple of songs with her. Okay, well, um, since you're going to, uh, you know, sneak off into the stage, could you maybe do a little rap for us? Oh, okay, okay, let's try something here. Um, well, it's time you see for G.O.D. and me with a smooth flow like Tai Chi. Only one is who I be. I stand out because I'm different, it's plain you see. I'm not black, but at least I'm darker than a lot of MCs. Also known as Tai Chi. Ying Man sounds like Tai Chi. Flipping scripts and Chinese, so hold on to your pews. Yong Zhong Ying Man gong, oh, you gong, sai bane tang. Yes, so hi, son, huh? Name Sai Bok Mang. But I can't use Mandarin because watching Guangdong Hua. And being ABC, Mo Chong Man Ho Ma Ma, you see, first John say, but says Sun Hai Ngoi. And first Chronicle something sub look says to raise and sounds of joy. And joy I've got, cause yes was in my life the key in me to endure hardships and strife. See I've been flipping this for God since 1991, so make room for only one and listen, cause I've only just begun. Wow, okay so I try to listen to your rap and I could hear there's like three different languages. What languages wow, are you rapping in? Wow, that's pretty good that you picked that up. Uh, it was mostly English, but then I threw in a little bit of Cantonese, and then I threw in a little bit of Mandarin. Okay. Yeah, I could hear the Mandarin. You said Butonghua means like Mandarin, right? Yes. Okay. But I was saying in Mandarin that I don't speak Mandarin. <laughs> so, um, as an Asian American rapper, um, how do you feel about writing or this event for Asian Americans? This is a great event. Um, I think Asian Americans don't have a, a, mo a powerful enough voice these days. It's getting better, but I think our culture, we're kind of mixed. Um, we're, we're mixed from the culture our family, our parents came from, where we're taught to be silent, to be the model minority, and to just um, not really speak out for, you know, for what we believe in. But um, as Americans, we're always taught to go in and do that. So being Asian American, we've always had that little conflict. And an event like this is really allowing us to express our voice um, that maybe our culture in the past may not have really, um, you know, taught us or allowed us to or, or promoted. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. And um, break a leg on stage. Thank you. <laughs>